Let me bring to the show my next guest this morning, Yusef Alshamari, CEO of C-Markets. Yusef, good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Uh, hello, Sandra. Very pleased to join you. So, you said we have so many um, crude oil price drivers at this point. Uh, if we want to also mention, of course, the different hurricanes in the United States. On the other side, uh, the OPEC, uh, which, as I said, trimmed uh, world demand forecast for the last quarter of 2021. I was wondering what's driving the price action in your opinion and what are your uh, medium to short term expectations? Um, well, as we can see, there has been kind of... Uh, a recent uh, price rally that would, I would call it a price to say spike um, over the past uh, few days and that is mainly due to the shortages coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. Currently at least two-thirds from the Gulf of Mexico continues to be off the markets and the hurricanes there, the impact of Ida uh, hurricane on the supplies and refineries there has actually led to some side of supply disruption. Adding to that of course the um, cautious policies continues from the OPEC Plus uh, producers and the high uh, compliance figures that we're currently seeing uh, in the previous uh, month, and Eve, I expect them even to continue this month, uh, continued decline in inventories. That's all showing that there is the ma this market, the demand is actually recovering and supply continues to be shorter than demand. And I believe this is the main reasons why we are seeing currently prices going up above the $74. Yet, will that continue to, uh, to, to will continue their way up? So we've seen some previous forecasts from uh, Bank of America who are expecting, as they say, $100, uh, maybe end of this year. But uh, according to our, our forecast, we believe that this rise in prices is uh, temporary. And I believe because we're going to see a, an, uh, an OPEC Plus meeting uh, beginning of uh, October, and well, well, I expect them to continue to ramp up production by something like 400,000 barrels. In addition, we also expect the Gulf of Mexico supply to come back on stream. And one, one, one important thing here is that the prospects of a, uh, a fourth or fifth wave from the COVID-19. We're already seeing, uh, we're concerned about the signs coming up from the UK, from France, and especially going beyond November. I would expect the demand to be kind of weaker not just because of uh, COVID-19, but also because we're going to the winter season. And I believe with the prices, well, they may take a southward direction as we move uh, towards the end of this year. Well, that's pretty interesting. Um, so uh, you, you, you think that the bullish case of Bank of America is a little exaggerated um, in, in, in regards to this uh, target price of $100 per barrel until the end of the year? Absolutely. We've, uh, and we've seen, by the way, previous forecast of this much beginning of uh, this year from Citibank and uh, other forecasters, Goldman Sachs, who expected $80 uh, during at some point in 2021. And uh, we have been quite cautious about over be becoming over bullish uh, when it comes to uh, price forecasting. So we've, uh, I believe the current increase in the prices is just temporary. And certainly I, we don't see $100. Uh, this year. But looking at the next uh, five years, that might be a possibility if there has been a major, there continues to be a major shortage in investments and we don't see prospects of U.S. oil production coming back and a major recovery out, out of the pandemic, then that could be a possibility, let's say, within five years from now. I don't, certainly, we don't see it this year or next year. I was wondering, what's your take on the China factor, uh, considering the fact that the surge in COVID cases over there um, related to the Delta variant, of course, um, are increasing. It's the same story in the United States. It's, it's kind of calmer here in Europe. Uh, but on the other side, I was wondering, what's your take on the China factor, since it's one of the most important, probably the most important uh, crude oil importers? Uh, certainly, China continues to be a pivotal, uh, a worrying sign. And that's also supports our analysis that we don't see a price uh, c continues to increase end of this year. Uh, we're talking about China. Over the past three months, the Chinese PMI has been declining to less than 51. And this is showing kind of a slowing activity given the outbreak of the uh, COVID-19 resurgence of cases in different uh, states. And I believe as we move towards the winter, the control of these cases can be a bit more difficult. So that 
certainly here there is another factor coming out from China away from slowing activity or economic activity here is China is withdrawing stocks and oil from its stocks. Its stocks is estimated to be more than 200 million barrels of oil a day. And if they continue that policy, certainly that will have kind of a, um, an impact or putting a, mark, a, a cap on how high oil prices can go. And I believe these are two things, worrying factors coming from China, which is COVID-19, slowing economic activity, and the withdrawal of the Chinese oil stocks. All right. Thank you very much. Yusef Oshamori, CEO of C-Markets. Thank you for joining us. And of course, have a great day ahead. Always a pleasure, Alexander. Thanks for having me.